Did Kwame Brown make any statement in court at all outside of simply pleading guilty? Uh, he answered the, uh, uh, the only statements he made, he answered questions. There was no statement in the court. Now, the judge, Judge Leon, set the sentencing date for September the 20th. And so at that time, uh, Kwame will go into court, Ms. Brown will go into court, and the judge will have had at least two weeks prior to September 20th all the letters of support, anything that Kwame Brown can give the judge to say, I'm a good guy, that this was a mistake. And on September 20th, the judge will sentence him to a, a prison sentence. Now, the prosecutors and Kwame Brown's lawyer, Fred Cook, reached an agreement in this plea deal that the time in prison would only be from either no time up to six months. But it, as each side emphasizes, it really is up to the judge to give the uh, sentencing. And under this... It could this, be more than that. It could and, be, or frankly, it could be a 30-year sentence, a million-dollar fine for bank fraud. But the uh, disagreement is only up to six months in prison. Mark Blackham. Well, there were reports from other entities, not this entity, uh, that, he, that part of the deal was no jail time. Uh, that is absolutely right. It's a recommendation of the U.S. attorney, and the judges usually accept it, but they don't have to accept it. What yeah, that's, uh, you're right, Mark, but I, I, I think uh, U.S. Attorney Ronald Machen on, our, on the Kojo show there and in other places has made it quite clear that he thinks public corruption is the number one serious issue in the city, and that I'm not sure that I, the U.S. attorney would be happy if, if Kwame Brown got no jail. I, I agree. I was just trying to say there were some reports that are, I think, erroneous. What you've reported, and which I had heard and didn't state on TV, was the forgery, which seems yeah. to me a whole different dimension. It's one yeah. thing to exaggerate your income on an, a bank application, and many people do that and don't go to jail. But uh, to actually forge something uh, seems to me an entirely different dimension. This is really uh, an individual who uh, was an accidental, I'll say it, council chairman, beat Harold Brazil, who was uh, really not very popular at the time, had no really life of substance or accomplishment uh, prior to this, and I think there isn't a lot of, I'll speak for myself, There, I don't feel a lot of sympathy for somebody like this, uh, who even when he was uh, first uh, accused said, I'm not going to resign at this time, what does that mean, said I'll have a comment tomorrow, and that didn't, his whole uh, past statements have been inconsistent and untruthful. In yeah, case, and I, and I think it's important, Coach, if I could just have, have my uh, 40 seconds of editorializing. I've already seen in some uh, online postings and other places that in the mayor and some other people, they are expressing their sadness and disappointment at this. And I've said it when the Harry Thomas thing happened. Where is the anger? As a citizen, we should be angry first when public officials betray the trust that we uh, put in them. So, yes, you can be sad if you want to and you feel sorry for his family members, and there will be other uh, court cases involving family members. But let's be, you can be sad and you can be disappointed, but that's a citizen of the city. We ought to be angry, too. Tom Sherwood. Is